So I'm sure you've all encountered it from uh, one time or another. Uh, you try and watch a stream, an online stream, and you keep getting buffering. You know, stop, start every few seconds, every few minutes, and it's not fun. Uh, now, there's a few reasons th for this. Uh, the main problem, I suppose, is that the servers sending the content, so the host website where this is actually stored, the servers they use literally just cannot keep up with the demand. Um, there's just too much traffic on that server and it's slowing things down. So, you know, if you imagine a, uh, a, a motorway, a three lane motorway, and, um, and let's say you've got a uh, two three hundred cars on it they will go in 70 miles an hour no problem at all you know you get let's say 10,000 cars on it suddenly the traffic's building up it's all come to a bit of a slower point everyone's slowed down um, so that's what's happening on the server um, sorry that's not the greatest analogy in the world but uh, you get you hopefully get the drift there and um, so that's the main problem and there's unfortunately not a great deal you can do about that and obviously if you're trying to watch HD content uh, if it's true HD compared to SD that can that file can be 20 times bigger so uh, you know that's a big difference obviously you're trying to stream something HD uh, 20 times as big so um, yeah obviously it's going to be a big problem um, so uh, so yeah if you can't get HD to work you might have to resort back to SD. But uh, other problems include your download speed. It might be that your download speed just isn't good enough. So uh, if you go to speedtest.net, that will give you a, a good indication of what speeds you're currently getting. And really, as a guide, um, you want, well, you can just about get away with about two and a half megabits a second for sort of SD content. Okay, you can you can just about get away with that usually. Um, and for HD content, if it's like an HD live stream, they're not usually in full HD. So you can usually get away with sort of four or five megabits per second uh, to stream them successfully. And then if you're streaming the uh, you know a proper full HD uh, movie for example you're going to need considerably more so um, so that's it really and also uh, I suppose it's worth mentioning that uh, the routers that internet service providers uh, provide free of charge are generally pretty useless um, and they do require frequent reboots so uh, it's worth uh, worth trying that every now and again. Just take the uh, power plug out, give it 30 seconds, and um, and pop it back in. Give it a minute to uh, load everything up and try again. And that, that may well fix your error. You might find that you'll get suddenly getting much, much better download speeds. Uh, however, if you know all those things are fine um, and you're still getting buffering, we do have a kind of a fix, okay? So um, what you need to do is create an advanced settings XML file. Um, now luckily for you guys, I've created one of those and you can install it directly from within XBMC. So uh, go over to your file manager and we need to um, add a source and you need to type in HTTP WHUFC Lee dot myftp.org okay and we just call that WHUFC Lee so you may already have this if you've already done the NaviX fix and a couple of other bits I've got on there um, but if not um, just add that and if you click on there we've got tweaks and in there it says advanced settings copy XML to your profile directory so click on that folder and we've only got one um, one advanced settings in there at the moment I may do more and it's cache to hard drive so click on that and you can see an advanced setting so all we need to do is copy that over to the profile directory so go over to the right hand side click on profile directory and you can see here we don't currently have an advanced settings um, by default, XBMC doesn't have one. It's up to you to add one. You can add uh, lots and lots of different settings in there. Um, advanced settings, hence the name. Um, so if you do have one, 
um, already you might not want to copy this over because uh, you may have settings in there that you know you you just want to add the contents of this to those settings so we go into that in a second but for those of you that don't have an advanced setting um, just copy it over so bring up the context menu and click on copy yes and there we go we've got it over there now what this feature will do it will um, and by the way it works on every platform um, including the old Xbox but it works brilliant on the Xbox by the way um, and uh, what it will do it will cache all of the um, all of the movie the video whatever it might be TV show movie whatever it is um, it will cache it all to the hard drive so by default when you're streaming a movie it downloads it and kind of uh, caches it to the RAM and uh, different devices have different amounts of RAM so you might find that it's not actually caching that much it might just be caching like a couple of minutes worth or something like that uh, so you know it's uh, it might be that you're getting pausing every couple of minutes because it's only cached two minutes worth and um, and it's not catching up you know it's not, not downloading fast enough it's not downloading as fast as you can watch it um, so what this will do it will cache to your hard drive so depending on how big your hard drive is it can cache up to the size of your hard drive so you know uh, it might be that you've got a big massive hard drive of you know uh, 100 gigabytes or, or more um, so you can keep caching and you could cache that whole movie um, if you've got a very small hard drive on your device then it's probably not worth using this um, you know you might gain a bit you might gain a bit but um, if you've got a very very small hard drive on there um, and you're virtually out of space you're going to be better to use the, um, the standard settings uh, however uh, what will happen once it's uh, basically cached to your hard drive so let's say you're watching something and it starts buffering um, if you press pause that will continue to keep downloading and kind of storing that file caching it onto your hard drive so if you pause it for let's say five minutes you might find that's um, we well, depending on how quickly it's downloaded you might find it's downloaded the whole movie in which case you can pause unpause anytime you want and you won't get any buffering at all um, it may be that it takes you know 20 minutes 30 minutes to download the whole movie it really does depend on the server and your download speed but at least with this method at very worst you can pause it you know if it's causing the problem just pause it go make a cup of tea um, you know come back 10 minutes later and you can unpause it and you'll find that it should play all the way through or or certainly almost all the way through depending on your download speed and the server speed so uh, I hope that makes sense um, as, as I say it is advanced settings so I've explained it as, as well as I can and uh, I'm just going to come out of there and by the way you're, you're probably going to need to uh, reboot your XBMC for that to take effect now what I will do is I'll just show you the contents of that file um, so XBMC user data and there's my advanced settings so I'm going to open that so that is all it is so if you've already got an advanced settings um, you know it doesn't matter if you put one in there by accident then don't worry about it because like I say by default XBMC doesn't come with an advanced settings so unless you know you've put one in there don't you know don't worry about it too much but if you do already have settings this is what you want to put in there you want to put in network and then the cache mem buffer size set that to zero uh, and then and then close the network set in there so um, zero just means it will cache to hard drive rather than RAM and you can set that to different numbers if you check up the wiki if you check it to if you just change that to different numbers it will use RAM but you can use different numbers for the amount of RAM you want to use okay so you can specify how much RAM um, how much you're willing to cache into RAM. Um, 